Hello everyone, this is Danny again for the third time. Today I'm going to show you another video uh, for uh, Rubes Roaster, one of the uh, uh, very uh, special, I, I would say most of people will reckon a very cool feature uh, about the roaster. Uh, it's how we going to, what we use to operate the roaster. Basically we have just been upgraded 15.6 inch screen for our Rubes Roaster. And uh, it's not just bigger, okay? Easier to use, more friendly, and also, most of importantly, you have the uh, bigger profile reading graph. So very easy to operate. Let me just show how we can how we can do this in the next few minutes. So let me show you just the uh, openings and closings uh, for the roster. See, everything is electric, so you don't have to move to use your hands at all when you're operating this, uh, this uh, roaster. Next, basically you have three major adjustments uh, for your roasting. So you will have the uh, exhaust, which, is, uh, which control your airflow. Uh, you will have your heating power. So this one is 16,000 kilowatts. Okay, and you also have drum rotation per minute, rotation per minute, okay? And so I can just quickly show you. I can increase 20 or minus 5, plus and minus 5. We have the heating 30%, plus 2 or minus 2. We have drum rotation count at 55. I can increase basically uh, 5 per unit. Very easy. Okay. So let me just uh, stop them. We also, next to it, it's a, it's a series of. Uh, uh, adjustments you need to do when you do your uh, first roast or I should say when you're going to manually doing your uh, doing your roasting okay so you have preheat uh, charge in seconds which is the uh, of charging the beans into the drum uh, you have initial uh, heating and initial uh, exhaust which is airflow you can also control the discharge and the cooling tray how long you want them to be and also uh, initial drum uh, rotation. Uh, as you can see, they are all different colors. Uh, they actually represent uh, different figures. For example, uh, exhaust in blue, heating in red, yellowish color for the drum rotation, and it actually complement to the uh, to the curves uh, on your left hand side. I actually just hide the, uh, the, the line. Okay, it appears. So you can actually hide them or you can display them. So if you're gonna display them, you need to have underlined. So uh, initially it wasn't. So I just put it on now. So you can see the airflow there. Heating, let me just show you. Straight away, you can see the red. Should be somewhere there, here. Okay, just for demo, okay? So you will know that uh, if you're looking for the, the graph uh, of the figure, you have to refer to the colors. Next, you can actually uh, adjust your preheat over there. So um, and you can put all the initial setup for your, for, for, for your roast. Uh, I can change them and I can just preheat and it will start working. Ooh, see? And you want to check uh, the rate of rise currently during the preheating time this one now it's currently sitting at 76 78 per minute whoa it's just over 80 okay oh just 90 now okay i don't know how i think over 100 can you see i don't think any roaster currently in the market have able to rise more than 110 degree per minute if you know anyone, let me know. All right, okay, let's stop there because uh, it's being charged too quickly. It's already over uh, nearly 120 degrees. All right, let me just stop there, but I'll just keep the airflow on so we can uh, have some air. Uh, we also have uh, very cool features, uh, reading the, uh, 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 saving and reading the profiles that you uh, recorded previously. So for example, we can search, let me search 
the ones I just did last uh, well July actually so let me check this one okay let me check this one okay I'll just press read go back I'll clear I'll just clear the um, the other lines for a minute okay so th this is actually uh, the uh, the profile I did previously and uh, say if I want to run automatic or re replication of the profile all I have to do is press order and you'll just run that graph for me it does the uh, automation uh, from preheat to charge uh, roasting replication of a curve uh, discharge cooling and then releasing the beams and the whole process just with one button okay so it's pretty cool okay so you can actually choose uh, all different profiles that you have uh, in your roster uh, and to be uh, exported out to USB we actually have a USB here okay and you can also say if you have profile and you want to save into the roster uh, from another raw base roster you can using this USB as well basically it does import and export okay out for your uh, profiles we also have backup button if you don't want to select every single one all you have to do is backup you will save all the profile to the usb how cool is that all right also you can see this area though uh this rubes roster actually um will record automatically for you for the turning point at the time and the degree you can also save uh, your first crack time and the degree second crack same as well and also the uh, uh when you discharge the uh, uh beams you will auto save your uh, your time and your ending temperature for this particular curve it ends at eight minutes 50 and at 209.4 degree okay so you have all the graphs presented to you uh you will know what to do in your next rows sometimes i may not need need so much graphs so i can hide them uh, which i did previously so I, let, let's hide let me just do a demo let me just hide all the lines except the beam temperature the rr curve and the, this is what we call the moisture uh, detection and the solar line is actually uh, what's happening now and the dotted line is uh, the one that you uh, and that you uh, saved previously and you you gonna uh, and you actually read them out so I hope uh, you like today's video uh, showing you another cool feature about the uh, robust roster for next time I'll show you even more so uh, keep tuned and uh, I'll show you see you next time thank you much goodbye